Hi. I'm here. Can't see me yet, but I promise I'm here. I'm a little late. I'm sorry. Downside, when you make a tweet about going live, or a blue sky post about going live, is that if you're very specific with the time, I think people come to expect you to actually be here on that time. I wrote I would start streaming in 50 minutes, and it took more like an hour. So I'm sorry about that. I had to make some food rather uh, unexpectedly, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I got delayed. I'm sorry, but I'm here now. In the flesh, so to speak. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're having a nice Thursday. I had to think for a bit there. <laughs> I am a little tired, as I usually am, late in the week. Hello, Lordon. Welcome. Are we waking Alan yet? I'm trying to wake myself first, but we'll, we'll get to Alan. He's next in line, I think. <laughs> I'm going to show you something cool. Something that I uh, spent some time yesterday setting up, or maybe it was two days ago, but I spent some time setting it up, and it looks pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna mo remove the schedule, and then we're gonna do this. And... There we go. Hi! <laughs> Double Razor! Okay, so, for those of you who are here for the last Alan Wake 2 stream, you will know that I had some performance issues when playing the game while using my regular... VTuber model. So I tried switching to my phone camera. Imposter. <laughs> but which one is the real one? Which is the real Razor? <laughs> you have to ask me a question that only the real Razor would know. But yeah, I had some performance issues. So I decided to use a Fugi, which is, you know, like a, a thing you can use with Discord that has like a little, a little thing that, uh, you know, it, it it can transition between two different states depending on whether you're talking or not. But I'm now using a program called uh, VidoTube. What's your credit card code? I don't remember that. <laughs> That's something that Wheel Racer would not remember. <laughs> I'm using a program called VidoTube. Um, and it's essentially like, uh, it allows me to not only have like two different states, one for talking and one for being quiet, but also uh, blinking and switching between different like modes and stuff like that, the way I can do on my regular model. I used to have, for those of you who have been following the stream for a very long time, before I had this model at all, before I even had a, a B2B model, I had a system like this set up myself that I made mostly myself with some like auto hotkey code that was running in the background. And that was reading the volume for my microphone and changing the PNG depending on my, <laughs> depending on my volume, how loud I was talking. And that one actually had, that one was, in a way, it was more advanced because it had three different states for every mood. So I had like, not only could I have my mouth open and closed, I could also have it cl open different amounts. So I could have one state that was like for when I was quiet, one when I was talking, and one when I was being like very loud. It would be like a yelling face. That was, that one was like more advanced. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll dust that one off sometime. <laughs> the actual drawings I did for it look very primitive to me now, but... Uh, it was a lot of fun to make, I remember that. The reason I have this now is because when we get into the game, uh, I'm gonna have to turn off everything <laughs> to get it to run fine and stream at the same time. I'm really hoping I'll be able to keep playing Alan Wake 2 because it's been a very neat game so far. It's been very atmospheric, cool, kind of different. I'm already kind of hooked on the story and the characters, so I'm looking forward to getting into it. Maybe it's time to stop talking and do just that. And then we do this, and then we do this. Um, <laughs> there can be only two. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna do like a quick recap of this game. We are playing not as Alan Wake primarily. We're playing as an FBI agent called Saga Anderson. She has like a Swedish mother, which is awesome. And she has, like, a weird mind palace where she can go to solve her cases with, like, magic and shit. And she's investigating... She's with her partner, Alex Casey, and they're investigating a murder of a an FBI agent called Robert Nightingale. And he was killed by a cult, the Cult of the Tree. 
they're wearing like deer masks. I would expect them to call to be called Cult of the Deer, but they're called Cult of the Tree. And uh, we found Alan Wake after we went through like a a, 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 what was it called? The overlap, which is like an overlap between our world and like the dark world where Alan Wake has been imprisoned by his own writing. And he, it seems like he managed to write his way out of there. Chapter one, we find Alan. Chapter two, we arrest Alan. Chapter three, we take Alan to the police. <laughs> Chapter four, bring Alan to his cell. But we found Alan, and he is like he th he's he's talking about like how someone got out, and it seems like he's not aware because we're finding like story pages, like manuscripts that describe what we will do, what our characters will do in the story. But it seems like it's not Alan who's writing them, which is weird because he's a writer, but someone else is writing them, seemingly. And all of this is a little weird. The game is really cool so far. Let's just see what happens. Also, I've cranked out the volume of the game a little bit because I thought it was slightly low last time. So if it gets too loud and you can't hear me, please let me know. Jesus. Right, so I solved the puzzle that had to do with a wolf, and then now there are wolf paw pads in here. Paw, paw pads, paw prints. So far, so good. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Makes me happy. Oh, and... Shit. We came in here, and there's... A very dirty wolf has been... <laughs> rolling Sean. on the floor. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Also, Saga is very, very unfaced huh. by everything. That was she's... strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. She's she's very unfaced by everything. She seems more fascinated than scared by literally everything. What is this? It's a it's a wolf's paw. Nursery rhymes. Okay, so new case. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. <laughs> no weirder than they... ah. <laughs> you know what? Let's just roll with it. You know, it's not it's not a big deal. Everything else is also already so weird. Goes missing for thirteen years. Shows up murdered. And then turns into a monster. Yeah, unlucky. I stop Nightingale. A rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? Okay, so right now we're just exploring around. Uh, in order to just... Because this area was flooded before we couldn't get to it. And now we're just like exploring around to see what's what. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. I think so too. It's kind of like this game is in a weird way. This is a very, very uh, tenuous connection now. But it is reminding me a little bit. Let's see, the car is up here. Oh, it's all the way up there. Okay. It's reminding me a little bit of Tron Legacy. Which is a game where Tron... Or not the game, sorry, it's a movie. <laughs> God, I'm trying to do several things at once. It's a movie where Tron is not, like, the point of view character. He plays an important part in the narrative, but he's not actually in the movie that much. And that's kind of reminding me a little bit of this. How uh, Alan Wake is, like, not the point of view character for a lot of this game. I know we will play a little bit as him later, but right now it's uh, definitely, like... Uh, a game where we're seeing him through someone else's eyes, you know? Hello, Eve! Welcome! This game is a little scary. It's like, maybe more of a mystery game, but it definitely has some horror vibes in part of it. I I have been plenty spooked already. Let's just put it that way. How are you doing? I was watching your uh, Genshin stream earlier. Why is this so... Why is this... Whispered, wispy smoke thing. I don't like. Yeah, I was watching your Genshin stream earlier. You, you kept going for a long time. Like I, I, I left the stream because I needed to go eat lunch, and then when I was done with work for the day, that's like about the time when you ended the stream. <laughs> did someone see Tron? I mean, I did. I actually saw the first Tron. Um, which is... 
thought it was a pretty good movie. Like, the effects uh, look very, 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 very dated, but not, like, necessarily in a bad way. It has, like, a, a retro charm to it, in my opinion. I am lost again, am I not? No, I can just keep going this way. Okay, cool. I wanted to do the entire story in one sitting. Ah, oh, I see. It was like a new expansion or something, right? What is happening up here? That doesn't sound good. What is going on? This is like the uh, the uh, Overwatch station or the thing that uh, the Federal Bureau of Control has something to do with. What is up? What's going on? Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed this so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix these things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casings around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Steven Lynn, chief technician. Steven was the one we saw here earlier with the Finnish guy. I hate Warning. the sound it's making. Activity detected. A W E. Act oh. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. Oh. It, What's an it, A W E? An A W E. That's. What exactly does the FBC do? I know what that is. After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for. Weird shit. Weird shit. We have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Uh, an AWE. They explain that in the game called Control. It's an altered world event. It's like a uh, with something to have to do with uh, like uh, alternate realities colliding with each other and weird stuff happening. Basically, am I on the right track? Yes, I am. But I need to go left now. Self-destruct sequence has been activated. All employees redeemed to the closest evacuation platform. <laughs> Here's my evacuation platform. Go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. It's time to leave. So they're here, like, monitoring uh, the, the crossing Mr. of the Wake, universes or whatever. We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Did he not text her? Don't worry, hon. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No. Yeah, uh, it's like ghosts and altered universes and... Weird case, that's all. Yeah, weird. Weird. Well, it's the understatement of the century. <laughs> my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. <laughs> She's 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 remarkably chill. She's a little bit stressed. She has a slight slight level of stress, right? <laughs> Look at this. This is so awesome. <laughs> FBI guys are in sync. Ellen is not doing so well. This looks like her mind place, is by the way. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been Espresso. gone a long time. No. No. 
They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. I don't remember if he the was in the got him back then. In the original game. That's the last time I saw him. Must have been, right? Fifteen years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. <laughs> yeah. Scratch. <laughs> Casey's not having any of this. <laughs> Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it. It's it's a crazy jumble, like a like a nightmare. I, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Sound is disorienting. Huh? In between with Mr. Door. Alan's black hole. Oh, wait. Oh, and as usual, I'll help man uh, oh god, the bad guardian. Uh, late night uh, initiation uh, one. I am a dog. Waking up in places with no memory of how I got there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Holy crap. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Okay, let's go into the TV. Sure. <laughs> Kinda of similar to a character from Quantum Break called yes, Mr. Hatch. Not Mr. Door, but Mr. Hatch. This must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know. I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, <laughs> our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. But it's, it was called The Return. It's mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, an auto-fictional thought experiment, a, a, a horror story, a postmodern detective story. Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, <laughs> you got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Like he's actually well, that's actually true. Man, that is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. 
very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare. This is like, I don't know how many layers this story has. A novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Note to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak. Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> this is so weird. This is amazingly weird. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> Always talk of metanarrative. Expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> uh. Yep, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay, okay, so now we're playing Hello? as Alan. This is the first time we're playing as Alan. <laughs> I'm losing it. Something's not right here. Uh -huh. I needed to get home to Alice. Alice was his wife, right? From the first game. This is so... I'm finding it difficult to even know how to comment on this. There are so many... Like, I have not played that many other re Remedy games, but I do know a lot of the, these things here are referring to things in other Remedy games. Like, the Old Gods of Asgard, the band here that was playing, they're actually a band, a real band, made up of members from Remedy, from the developer. And their music frequently shows what up in their games. What was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. In between, with Mr. Door. I wonder how many people are actually called Door. Mr. Door, his, his I lounge. Was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Zane classics in theaters. Zane was a writer that was mentioned in the first Alan Wake game. Interpretation of many worlds, Dr. Casper Darling. This is a character from Control. <laughs> this is just straight up like a, like a crossover episode. My interpretation of many worlds. This guy is played by the same guy who does Alan Wake's voice, I think. <laughs> it's very strange. Okay, I need a code. Never mind, let's look around a little bit. Old guys is... of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Neighbor of the Beast? Yeah, he uh, he went to... Uh, he played their music in Alan Wake 1. <laughs> it was an entire like set piece battle where you had like a, a concert of theirs, I think. Okay, let's check over here. Do we have a map for this place? No? Writer's room currently unavailable. <laughs> so Anderson has her uh, uh, mind palace and her mind place, and he has his writer's room. I hate how that that flickers. It's scaring me. Stop flicker, please. Can I turn the lights back on? No. What about here then? That's locked. 
They're lit oh, wait, 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 I'm being silly. 665, night neighbor of the beast. Flicker lights are a must-have in a scary game. Yeah. It's obligatory. There we go. 665, neighbor of the beast. There was something Ooh. here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Oh, I thought I could activate it. Oh. There was something in the studio with me. No. I had to get out. No, 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 thank you. I can't crouch either. familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days oh yeah you've been here for some time like this this place has such an owl motif there's an owl right there and then there's like these are like owls eyes you know I had been writing initiation you must write to escape well he's got the writer's jacket on trap <laughs> That's awesome. Wide awake. I think this is the one we heard in uh, the end of chapter one, I think. Yeah. Okay, we probably can't leave. I couldn't leave. Ooh. A plot draft. Okay, <laughs> so Anderson has like a case board, and he has a plot board. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. Are you sure it's you writing that though? Or is it Scratch? Whatever that is. Trying to trick you. Everything Dor had said had felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? The dark place trapped, you must write to escape. Um, A character in control also mentions Mr. Dor. Hey, T-Slug. Welcome. We're playing as Alan now. This is like his writer's room. And he's trying to write to escape like the nightmare world. I mean, he, this is his memory of trying to escape. I think. It's a little weird. But welcome to like how are you doing? I didn't remember much. But I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. This is before he wakes up at the lake. I, I think so. I project myself out of this room. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. Fine, I have soft and skiffler. Nice. Find a way out of the talk show studio. Okay. 
<laughs> Wait, can I leave through the exit? No, okay, we gotta leave through the TV. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> he looks so confused. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? <laughs> I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he <laughs> look the part to you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. <laughs> it's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of your books. <laughs> so, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I... <laughs> also, that's Sam Lake. That's the that's like the, the director of Remedy. I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My own reflection haunted me. It has so many layers. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. <laughs> Wait, he does the <laughs> Max Payne face. About a lamp. Ah, <gasps> oh, shit. And he's back here again. Okay. Let's get out faster this time. This time I have like an ammo and a health counter, which is uh, scaring me. <laughs> See, they haven't changed the number, have they? Five! Oh, well. Should be the same. No. No? Wait. There we go. It was blinking in that order. I don't have a gun or anything. No, I think. <laughs> okay, so this is where we went last time, I think. Towards the red light. And then through this door. Hello? Oh, I think we know who I know who we're meeting now. It's the janitor. <laughs> ah, Lord there you are, Tom. <laughs> oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> what the hell is it? Of course, Tom. <laughs> The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Arti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So, don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember... He is so finished, yes. <laughs> the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a man. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egani. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. 
Thank you, Ati. Okay, so this guy is in control as well. He's like a pre-key character in control, and it's kind of implied that he's some kind of uh, uh, dimensional traveling demigod or something like that. <laughs> I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prison of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. <laughs> I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. No. The the uh, he he has about the same reaction to Ati no. that Jesse has in in control. She's also like, well, he's a bit weird, but he's an, he's a nice face, you know, he's a friendly face. So we're angry that I don't know Finnish now. Yeah, I wish I knew Finnish as well. All I can say is perkele and eisapeite. Mansika. Hello, Helix. Welcome. Hi, Racer. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm I am having a pretty awesome day actually. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Here? Huh? Why is the backstage groaning at me? I still don't have a weapon. Weirdly enough, I actually feel safer, like, without a weapon, because that means I'm not, like, expected to defend myself yet. Oh, light! Okay, okay, it's giving me, like, a signal that there's light. Oh, no, that means I'm gonna have to, like, hide in the light and, and avoid the darkness or something shit like that. Ugh. Lurk. I'm sorry that I have to lurk, but I don't want to get spoiled on Alan Wake. That makes perfect sense. And it's a really good game. I can I can uh, like recommend it. But I hope you have an off the scene. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. And thank you for the lurk. And I don't blame you at all for wanting to avoid spoilers. I've been thinking the same for this game because it's it's pretty goddamn awesome so far. The lamp felt significant. And thank you so much for the head pads. The head pads are in the air, no! Head pets are petting my ghost. There we go. There we go. Now it is correctly aligned. Thank you so much for the head pets. Okay, so he found the light. Um, I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Angel lamp to move lights and create a way forward. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Oh, he's like stealing like the light. Dream. To grab it. Away okay. Forward. The lamp was humming. That's cool. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. And now we can put it back. Okay, so that's like it creating a safe zone, I think. That's awesome. Okay. So now I kind of have a weapon, so I, I'm a little... A little scared. Can I use this some way? Can I we put it... another surge from the lamp. No, it seems like it's only context, like only in certain places. Out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. The Harry Garrett Show. That's a talk show where Alan Wake appeared in the first game. <laughs> it's the same studio. Oh! The way he opened that door was terrifying. Okay, we need... we need... okay, we need the light. I shouldn't have left the light there. We need a light here. Zap! The dark place wants to drown me. <sighs> I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. 
twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories. Owl. I've forgotten how many. I'm Owl. Failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not I think I don't want to be right with the authority. Yeah. <laughs> Of part. I didn't have to fight anything. Even though I got the ammo counter. I wonder if this is like how people how writers feel about writing. <laughs> the shoebox can store your items. Store items from any shoebox in the dark place. Okay, cool. I have nothing to store right now. Okay, wait, I need to put it here, so I have an, a way forward. There we go. Whenever we turn the light on, we get like a new path forward. Got it. Oh. In New York! Somehow I knew the call was for me. The New York! <laughs> I'm gonna check the map first. Where are we at here? Caldera Street Plaza. Caldera is another name for cauldron, isn't it? Between with Mr. Door. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. Oh, my goodness. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Well, Hello? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Maybe it's more like... I've already told you several times, but you've forgotten, so it there's no point. Just do what I say, you know? Alright, we have a subway pass. Casey initiation 2. It's so, I don't even know how to label all the chapters and stuff. I had to go there. The fuck was that? I don't like these voices. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Yeah, actually, I, I figured that out myself. Thank you, though. <laughs> the lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. Yeah, okay, so we need to find another light. Eh, over there, maybe? Looks nice and bright. Headlights for the car. Maybe not? I don't even know, how do you even, if, if someone came into the stream right now, and I tried to explain to them the story, do you think I could? 
I was like, yeah, I'm a writer, and this is his memory of being trapped in a nightmare place that is of his own making, and he's trying to write to escape it. And also, I'm spending half the time playing as an FBI agent investigating a murder. I don't like those sounds they make. I am not a fan. Fuck. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. Illumination Maybe here. Keep it that way. Huh? I think shit's gonna go down when I get this light, don't you? So gr green lights don't work, yellow lights don't work. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door Show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? <laughs> now we hear his thoughts! What the hell? Creative, perfect work of art. Or would he be the next victim? Also, he's dressed like Max Payne. What happened? I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. Huh? You're gonna get what's coming to you. Oh shit. Okay, just to reiterate, this guy gone in flashlight to protect myself. This guy is a fictional character created by Alan Wake, and now he's like angry that Alan Wake killed him off. Oh this was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. <laughs> Can you not say so ominous stuff while dying? In darkness now, lest the shadows block my way. I don't want to. I don't want to step into this. Okay, that worked. Can you not say so ominous stuff while dying? <laughs> I mean, this game is pretty ominous. Oh! Burning through the batteries too fast. Oh! Fuck. Oh! Ow! Oh my god! Okay, now. 
Am I hurting it? I am. Okay, good. The shadows faded out until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. The darkness notes. <laughs> He's making rainbow confetti. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. It looks like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> I'm almost out of batteries already. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. Yeah, I know. You don't need to tell me everything. It reminds me of Prince of Persia stands for time when the prince is telling the story and he dies. He goes saying it in the game over screen. That's not how it went. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's awesome. Maybe I'll play those games on stream at some point. Oh, that completely changed. Now better than ever! Looks very better. I needed to oh. find another light to go. Don't. <laughs> Don't sleep, station and again. <laughs> Imagine messing up your story. Like, I got really into telling how dangerous it was, so I accidentally told you I died. I didn't, actually. <laughs> yeah, the story was really dangerous, and then I died. Wait, can we grab the light from... No, we need to find something else. Let me see. Batteries, thank you. Batteries. It's very, like, people have not been cleaning graffiti here for a while. Like, at some point, there's got to be very little point in, in writing anything on the walls, because it's just gonna, it's just gonna, like, get covered over. It doesn't even, it doesn't even stand out anymore. Maybe we gotta find, like, another charge somewhere else. Oh! What if we go up here? Don't ride, return. <laughs> oh. <Wait>. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> ah! Oh, holy shit. Oh. I'm sorry about those uh, sounds. Uh, yes, please. Let me. <laughs> Imagine if Alan Wake is just insane, is running around in the city killing random people. I mean, anything is possible in this game, I guess, but. He has been missing for 13 years. He's been missing for 13 years, right? Oh, and I'm out of flashlight. I can't, I can't do shit now. Okay, we need to find more light. I don't know where, though. Uh, okay, let's see. What have we not explored? This one is lit. What if we take the light from... Oh, we go from here and uh, activate this one. Of course. I'm glad the game did not tell me. I'm glad it let me figure this out on my own. Here we go. And this heals me, right? At least it keeps me safe for a little bit. I don't know what to do if enemies show up now. No. I actually can't hurt them, I think. You die here. That's sad. Find Alice. Go ask Alice. 
when she's ten feet tall. No uh. Yeah, I just gotta like, oh my fuck. I just gotta run. Uh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Batteries, please? Oh, right, I could have put, like, stuff in here, but I don't have any stuff to put. I got fuck all. Stop using the words. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's one battery. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong with, like, the flashlight. That is making me burn, waste more battery than I should. Because I feel like I burn through batteries so fast. This is also on hard mode, though. So maybe it's just difficult, you know? I think I recognize that voice, and I think that might be the, the, the like the face of the dark presence from the first game, the, the villain essentially of the first game. Hello. Oh, hey, Alan. Oh, it's the sheriff. It snuck up on me. It's the sheriff. Who went missing? Sorry, have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is his name. Warlandor. The Warlandor? <laughs> no. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. Can I turn off the flashlight, by the way? I can! Nice! Cool. You're making a map. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel this guy, by the way, about. is well, played by... Supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. This guy's cool. It, he, it, this guy's played by Sean Ashmore, who played uh, the main character of Quantum Break, another Remedy game, and he's also like Iceman from the X-Men movies. And this is the sheriff that disappeared, by the way. In case that wasn't clear, this is the sheriff that disappeared from Anderson and, and Casey in, like, quote-unquote, the real world. The dark place. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. I was at the morgue. I was about to give the evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to his, this dream reality. Why? Who? Where? Why? Motive? Why me? Facts. Missing time. No memory. Until now. Have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted? Aliens? Door? U UFOs? Polyhedrons? <laughs> Dreams. Me, but not me. Others I know, yet they're different. The red-headed woman. Okay, do you have any more batteries? That would be awesome. Yes, thank you, Sheriff. And a med kit, too. That's freaking sweet. Maybe I have to step out of this, like, quote-unquote safe room. See you, around, Alan. See you around, Tim. Those damn polyhedrons, <laughs> yeah. Quick slot, four. And then the gun, quick slot, one. Neat. God, I love the fact that I can turn on and off the flashlight when I want that I don't have to have it on all the time. But but was this guy... Was he the one on the phone, though? He didn't sound like the one on the phone. Huh? Oh, so he didn't want to fight. Okay, good. The guy with the phone was too annoying to be the sheriff? Yeah. It was, wasn't it? Hidden here. Light would reveal it. 
Nope. Aim your flashlight. I am aiming my flashlight. Words of lamp. Words of lamp. Words of lamp. Words of lamp. already burning through all my flashlight power. Cult of lamp. Yeah. <laughs> Cult of the lamp. And on the seventh day, God made the lamp. And they said it was good. Bullets, bodies, and bourbon. An Alex Casey film. Worst Casey. <laughs> Oh no. Why is it saving? Oh, right, we're on the other side of the. Oh no. That is probably bad. I think I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I'm just going. I am leaving. We need one more. We need this one as well. We can hold up the two charges, it looks like. Instead of having a sun, we have a lamp. <laughs> well... There isn't much sun here. Remember when Casey, like, the, the actual... I don't know, it's so weird. There's one fictional Casey that's in here, and then there's a quote-unquote real Casey out in the real world. The gates to the platform were closed. Entry stop. I had a ticket. And the other the other Casey said that he, he liked the rain because it reminded him of home. And he came from New York, right? And here we're in New York, and it's raining all the time. Even though this is like a nightmare in New York. Where's the ticket? Uh... Ah, here. Caldera Something Station. about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Step out of, step out of your echo chamber. Having to navigate through paying your fare in a dirty subway station. That's the horror right there. Align the echo by approaching it from a specific angle, okay. You can be a specific angle. <laughs> oh! <gasps> connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound. Gonna prepare for the stream? I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost Thanks so much for stopping by, Lorden. Have a, have a, a good stream. I could use in my writing. Rewrite the Caldera Street Station scene. So now we have to write the story differently. <laughs> the plot the details of the world. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Someone came in here and clubbed down the previous the FBI agent. The tunnel. I wonder if the other FBI forward. agent is going to be Nightingale, even in this story, in, in this, like, version of the... I don't even know how to talk about this game. Like, in this world? The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Holy fuck, this looks like a maze. I was about to ask who would build a subway like this, and then I remember that this is like a, a dream in a dream in a in a writer's book in a dream. Like, it's <laughs> asking for logic is a little... Uh, it's 
kind of missing the point, I guess. <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me control the flashlight myself. This is something Resident Evil could learn. The game has been very, very light on combat so far. The game has combat, but it's not really the main focus, you know? Can I go here even? Is this like where the story ends? Determined where I could go and where I couldn't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. It's like it's like a uh, an invisible wall just because it, he hasn't written that part. The writer's block. <laughs> Literal writer's block. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Words of aid. Can be used to make wake stronger. You can assign them in the writer's room. Oh, so it's like an upgrade thing. Words of gun. Words of gun. Words of gun. Words of war. Words of. <laughs> Let's give me myself more health when I use my trauma things. That sucks because I found these words of uh, of uh, power or something like back up on the rooftop after I met the sheriff, but. I apparently didn't stand in the right angle, so I must have missed them. That sucks. The tunnels were a maze. The blood a trail led me on. Amazing. This is a lot of blood. Who the fuck bleeds this much? A loser, Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. Found the new scene. Go to the plot board to rewrite reality in the collapsed tunnel. I had a new location for the story. Multiple scenes. Select the FBI agent plot element and activate it with enter. <laughs> the scene had changed. I changed the story. And with that, the dark federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. They had love to be on his case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone oh, who fuck. gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Load of bull. You can only re reality in a scene you're currently in. Am I not in the collapsed tunnel? I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. Okay. You have to be... He's like a method writer. He has to be on the scene in order to be able to... to write the stuff, you know? So did that change anything? Oh, I can put it in or out. I get it. So I can put it in. Like, oh, now the missing FBI agent is here. And that changes the scene. Okay, okay. So now there's like a crime scene here and they're like looking for him. Okay, I got it. Cool. Cool. Okay, maybe I don't have to use my my boost to get rid of these. I just have to shine the flashlight at them. That's good to know. I that's why I've been burning through so much batteries. I've been burning through the batteries just to get rid of like the the regular shadows that aren't really dangerous. Word is, your research can help me. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow, under a false identity. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. Better avoid detection. Okay, okay. So sometimes it's better to just have it off. Got it. Ugh. Wake. No. You're stuck. 
No wake. I'm sleep. I'm Mr. Sleep. Okay, so what if I do the new story this? Fit the story perfectly. Let's put the murder cult in here. I was making my way deeper into the story. <laughs> I could imagine the this is so weird. Forming their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. I can't believe the story you're telling me. It's macabre. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. <laughs> this is so weird. He's writing a story about an evil cult that worships himself. <laughs> ah. Here we go. The water was gone. Oh, thank you. Not gonna say no to batteries. Hey, Who hums? Alan. Oh, hi. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I do remember this time. I remember more now. It's good to hear, man. <laughs> Robin, hi. Welcome. I'll be here lurking. Hope you have a wonderful stream. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great. Uh, I hope you're having, having a great evening. What is this place? A dream? Feels like it. Not real. No place. Every place. All places. Any place. Not New York. Not New York City. A way to other places, a nexus, is door the gatekeeper. We're trying to get somewhere. Everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window. Polyhedrons! <laughs> this is mega confusing. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, the dreams... I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Okay. Sounds Open pretty reality. normal so far. Maybe. Oh, okay. Don't change. Like door. Or door. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. <laughs> He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. I mean, I, I wonder if Dor is like his nemesis, the way Mr. Scratch is apparently Alan's nemesis. But otherwise, I I thought he disappeared from the uh, morgue in uh, Anderson's reality because he uh, was about to spoil the story, right? Because he knew too much. But now I'm wondering if there's like more to it than that. And if Dor is some kind of... Maybe Dor is like some kind of guardian who's like watching over the continuity of the story or something like that. I don't know. Given that he's a talk show host talking to a writer about his books and being like, Hey, you wrote this book. It's awesome. Like, that's that's something that I think is... Important? Maybe? I don't know. Do you have any supplies in here, Tim? Like, I fought like two guys so far and ran out of batteries. Who is humming? Wake. Oh! What the fuck? Is this supposed to happen? This has to be bug, right? No? Is this, like, I can't even tell with this game if this is supposed to happen or not. Is this a bug? <laughs> okay, this has to be bug. This can't be real. Again, <laughs> I'm, I'm just floating through the void. Yeah, no, this has to be. This can't be. I gotta load. When's my last time saved? Tw 21 minutes ago. So where are we at now? How far back are we? 
Oh, this is like when we steal the light from here. Okay, cool. Turn off the flashlight. Oh, no! This guy wants to go. Oh! Shit! Oh! I should have just run. Oh! I'm just dodging. I am dodge. Oh! Fuck! Okay, he's dead. Fuck you. There we go. Give me the band-aid. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? <laughs> wow, they're so meaningful words. It must be me who wrote it. <laughs> See, this looks like you're actually going to fall through the floor here. No? Here we go. <laughs> It spawned in after a while. It just took a while. Oh! Wake. Just took a while for the stairs to spawn in. Fuck you. I like, I really like how long the guns take to reload. Like, I know that sounds like a backhanded compliment, but I actually do like it. I actually like how... Because it creates a lot of tension, I feel like. So I understand why he was so extra confused about finding Casey when he came out into the real world, because he not only was Casey a character he created, it was also a character he tried to use to escape from this nightmare world. So now we gotta save. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. The train is R. Uh... Do, 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 do. Something terrifying happened here. Was it the missing FBI agent? The agent to come here looking for the cult, for trouble. The cult used fire to claim dominion over the tunnels. The plot changes shake the world around me. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Oh, they did they burn people inside it? Why are you writing scary stuff, Alan? Could you write a nicer story? Oh, fuck! Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. This guy is scary as shit. Kind of weak, though, luckily. Go on, man. Go on, man. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels, lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, douse it in gasoline. Yeah. Torchbearers. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels, searching for new victims to devour. 
There are no happy endings in this city. Torchbearers. Like, the, the people who carry the light are the torchbearers, right? I'm not try. I, I'm not entirely sure what the plot significance is, but it is, like, symbolically significant. The way forward through the bowels of the burnt carcass. A sick and twisted story. Oh, we have to go through here. I could get oh! No. Wait, I want to try something. I want to try something. Let's go back and try something. None of this was real. It was ah! Ah! Uh, oh god, that was disturbing. Oh, that was disturbing. Can I go back through here? Do I want to? I'm not sure if I can. No, it's blocked off. I wanted to try to use the last plot point I had. Oh, okay, this is the way back around. Okay, nice. I'm coming back around to it, I think. Yeah, okay. So let's try let's try to change it out, swap it out for the um, missing FBI agent, see what happens. Okay, so now the train car disappears entirely. Okay, I was thinking maybe I could find some more supplies or something. Oh, okay. It didn't disappear, it was just not spawned in. Okay, so this is a little buggy. I... <laughs> shit. Shit, I think, um... I think I might have trapped myself. <laughs> can I, can I remove this again? Okay, now I just gotta get out of the way. And wait for the train car to spawn in. There it is. Good. Okay, let's not, let's not go there. There we go. Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Okay, that didn't give us much. Wake. I nope. can figure this out on the plot board. Yeah. Really? Here? Wake. I don't think I need to figure anything out on the plot board. I still have ways to go. Wake. Oh, fuck. Fuck that noise. It's kind of a cool cool move that you have to turn off the light to get more safe, you know? It's like a stealth game where um, so sometimes light is like a safe spot and sometimes it's it's harming you. Can I get in here? Oh, nice. I'm actually finding a lot of- <laughs> Fuck that! Oh, they're following me. Oh, there are many of them. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Ooh. Okay, save point, save point, save point. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Here we go. 420. Good time to end. Oh, so how do you guys feel about the game so far? I'm enjoying it a lot, even though it is a little buggy. And I do feel like the writer's room stuff and the... Mind Palace stuff is a little slow sometimes. Like, you have to go in there and you have to, like, click things in the right order. And it's a little, like, obvious, if you know what I mean, right? Uh, I wish it was more like a puzzle. And I feel like it, it can develop and become more like a puzzle. Right now it feels like you, you there's only one way to solve it and it's usually pretty obvious. You just have to click everything. And uh, so gameplay-wise, I'm not super sold on that. 
art yet, even though I like it thematically a lot. You know? Right now it's all black. <laughs> it's the darkness. It's the dark place that has taken us. And hi! Somehow... There we go. Thank you. <laughs> it reset itself. Nice. I, this is kind of a weird statement coming from me. I felt that a lot of uh, the media I consume the past few years have been kind of trying to play nostalgia. You know, like a nostalgia card, right? A lot of sort of movies and uh, TV shows and stuff are referencing older stories. Older shows, other shows, other movies, you know. They bring back old characters for a cameo and to reprise their roles. And it's like, hey, look at this thing you've seen in the past. Wow, that's so cool, isn't it? And that's been a little... I've gotten a little tired of that myself, personally. I don't think it's always bad, but I do think it's been overused a little bit recently. And the thing I feel about playing this game is that it's referencing a lot of other Remedy games. Some that I've played and some that I've only heard of, right? But it doesn't feel bad to me here. Right? It doesn't feel like they're doing it like to try to for nostalgia reasons. It feels more like they're doing it for just to, to sort of create this sense of a of a very weirdly connected universe that runs on some kind of dream logic. Alex Casey is a fictional character, and he's also a real character in the game, and he in like the fictional version of him looks exactly like Max Payne. And sounds like Max Payne and dresses like Max Payne. The real version of him is kind of similar, but an FBI agent. And, <laughs> and Alan Wake is a writer who is played by the same voice actor who played Dr. Darling in Control. And Control also appears in this game. The Federal Bureau of Control also appears in this game. And the books written by Dr. Darling appear in this game. And Alan Wake, the writer, is in a hallucinatory talk show where he meets the guy who makes the, who is the face of Alex Casey. And that guy is Sam Lake, who's also the director of Remedy. It's a <laughs> the story has like several layers of meta. Usually I feel like if you make a story too meta and too self-aware, it can sort of lose a sense of sincerity to it. But... This one doesn't. I'm actually genuinely invested in it. It feels sincere. It feels like it's not just trying to be meta for the sake of like, wow, look at how self-aware we're being. It feels like it's trying to be meta in the sense that it's creating like this dream logic where writing makes reality, which creates the writing, which creates the reality, and the story creates itself and references itself and eats its own tail. You know, it's it's weird to describe, but I think you get what I mean. But yeah, I'm I'm liking this game a lot so far. It's cool. It's cool. It's 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 got a little bit of Resident Evil in there. It's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of control in there, but mostly it feels like it's like an action version of a darker action version of, of True Detective fused with what I imagine Twin Peaks is like. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for lurking. Thank you so much for hanging out here and chatting with me. I hope you enjoy enjoyed the stream and I hope to see you tomorrow on YouTube. Thank you and good night. <laughs>